Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to use DevC++ to write a C++ program. I'm going to go to File New and click on Project. Then I'm going to click on Console Application and then I'm going to give my uh, project um, the name Learn C++. Now you'll notice that this is checked by default and so that's what we want and I'm going to click on OK. Then I'm going to um, click Save. Now uh, the program uh, comes with a default main.c++ C++, uh, or C CPP. I'm just going to increase the size of this. And we've got a main method that returns zero if everything went well. So um, the program I'm going to write is just very simple. We're going to ask the user to um, putting a double uh, value and then display that back to the user. So I'm going to start by declaring a double uh, value and I'm going to call it value. So pretty straightforward. Then I'm going to ask the user to enter a um, to enter a, um, a, a using the printf method to to display a message to the user. Enter a value of double. Okay. Um, I'm going to terminate the statement with a semicolon and to get entry from the user we'll use the scanf method and the scanf method takes uh, an argument that says uh, two arguments so the first argument is the type that we are going to store um, our input to and so in this case it's a double so to indicate that that's a double we use a percentage sign and lf and then the second argument is where we want to store this value and because we want this value to be saved by reference, we have to use the AND sign like this. OK, now um, then we want to print again the value that the user has entered. So use a printf method again and we say the value you have entered is and then here I want to indicate that I'm going to display a double again and a new line. Then I will display what value variable I've got that's got my data saved. Okay, then I'm going to go to um, execute and compile my project and click save. Now if this has zero errors, we can now go ahead and click on execute and then click run. And now the program is asking me to enter a double value. So I'm going to just put in 5.5. .5. And this is displayed back to me using the printf method. OK, so this was a very simple program to demonstrate the use of the printf method and how to get a double value from the user and print it back to the user like this. And hopefully we'll be creating more videos of C++, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.